You're looking pretty grim. I thought we'd put those days of war and death behind us. But Wutai won't let us move on. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. Huh? All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough! Stay back! Can't you leave us alone? Burn Jim. Gotta get a little payback. My Come on. So man. it's my turn? That's enough. Out of I'm here. just so tired. My turn. <laughs> Soldier, huh? First class. Okay, then. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. <laughs> Can't. It's my job. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Pretty strong, isn't he? I've seen his type before. You don't know me. Ah! Going all out. You're as good as dead. Shit! That hit. How's that payback working out? Oh, better than expected. Thought you didn't want to get rough. No, but this is self defense. <sighs> Steady. <laughs> Let's do this. I'll show you what I can do. Don't last long. Stay strong, okay? You can do it. Let's do this. Good. Try this. I'm just Shit. trying, but I can't. Take the lead. I got this. I'm waiting. 
That it? Uh, you gotta be careful. Hmm? Huh. Take it from here. I'll take care of him. Uh. Tagging out. Hang back. That's it. Burn. I'm waiting. Don't overdo it. Here goes. Nothing. Stay strong, okay? That's enough out of here. Can't keep I eyes. got this. Still in it. Leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <clears throat> hey there, partner. Huh? I'm but, sure you're having the time of your huh? life, but we're needed on standby uh, for a job. It's something uh, about Sector 7. But, so get your ass back here now. <sighs> Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. 
I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow, and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Don't want to overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'm sorry.
If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. As well check out Walmart while I'm down here. I tried that new Chocobo fabric softener you mentioned. Doesn't it smell? I guess it's time you walk. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Oh. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Oh. So I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Keep 
it together. I'll take care of him. <sighs> Get him! Yoo-hoo! One more shot! Needs more magic. Whatever. You've got this. My turn. All right. Gotcha. That's it. That's that. So long. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Here it comes. Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Bundle up. Get ready. Come on, team! Enough! That's it! Here it comes! Let's go! What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... Great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. It's this way. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. You did it! Yeah. <laughs> uh... Hmm? Alright, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Hmm... Stop! Did we wake it up? No escape. Try this. Take over for me. I'll 
take care of them? I'll take care of you. Why don't you lead the way? I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Go on! Everything's spinning. That'll do. Go on! Bam! After you. Your turn. Taking over. Get ready. Looks like a dead end. Was never 
in doubt. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh, huh. <sighs> oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! Okay, right there! Hold on, while I drop the ladder!
Whoa, not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Can't move in a, a composite... I don't get it! Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is yeah. like, uh... It's like... Huh? Compensation... For damages! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you... No, when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> due recompense. Due recompense. Due... due recompense. Uh -huh. No shit, for brains. Due recompense. It's like uh, uh -huh. it's like uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, compensatory damages. Uh, of course, so damages I do that. It makes recompense. Sense. I, get it. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. You guys, don't leave me, I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. 
Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? Fresh meat to test our new <laughs> You. We've got to get through this. Can you handle them? Hang back. No holding back. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> Won't last long.
Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it? Gotcha. down for you in a sec.
pretty well? Sure did. <laughs> uh... Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there, Lovebird! Go on! If you want to pass through our territory, then you gotta pay the toll! Here goes! These are hurt! Why don't you lead the way? So it's my turn? Go on! You'll see! Yeah! Okay. Tagging out! Let's do this! We made it! Smell the fresh air? All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Here. Hmm? This won't take long. 
<sighs> Ready. Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. <laughs> Guess this is it, then. Ready? Yeah. lost you what's going on Shh. I'll explain everything later but now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo you should head back to seventh heaven meet up with the gang but I'll be fine you've seen how much ass I can kick I have <laughs> yeah yeah Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's great at handling the books. Cloud... I really don't think that'll help. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? 
for the title of the next Mrs. Cornell. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon, if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Newbie, this delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. If you don't know, you're dead. Take a look-see. One mm, relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies, ladies, shaped like oh, everybody's that's what favorite I mean. joke. or not to enter? That is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical introspective type like me. That soft, naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. You're just another musclehead who uses violence to work through your inner demons. It's sad, really. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. What? Aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? Stay sharp, though. Lifetime bans a lifetime ban. One more drink. What do you say? Only a select. <laughs> he tried their secret. Dig 
a hole and throw me in. Already. The voice of an angel. It's a hard lesson, but one you have to learn. You ready for? You know. The stupid town can kiss my ass. And if you don't make it out of here by first. Shit! These are high stakes, man! I feel like. Thank you. I signed with Shinya Records a while back, but I'm still looking for my... It's been seven years now. This is a new song of mine. Maybe it'll be that number one. Sing it loud. Sing it proud. Oh. Did the doctor tell you lay off the booze? <clears throat> worry about your own health instead of the planet's. Chocobo Bean Popcorn here. I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the <laughs> way it is, hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. I feel so alive watching this. <laughs> and all those employee benefits make it worthwhile. Mm, but crunch. Hans? Damn, man. This is, is the place supposed to go down like this. I think so. Just wanted to see Andrea. Let me handle this. Curse my weak You wait will. out here, okay? But and why like, would I do that? 
No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Uh, hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Andrea's shows transcend beauty and entertainment. They're philosophical manifestos. You bet I am! This is the first time in my life sitting in the premiere section. This is gonna be amazing! Oh. Uh, <laughs> drank a little too much. Maybe the breeze will sober you up. I know she's not supposed to see any of her customers outside the bar. You should have been talking to Day, huh? But what do you say we grab a drink? For God's sake, who does that behind a bank? <laughs> that was the best thing that's ever been done to me. My sweet, sweet Madam M. I'm a customer for life. I guess they're closed right now. Why don't we try looking for another one of the trio? Whoa. There's something downright wrong with this place. <laughs> relax, man. Relax. You gotta relax. What were you thinking? Stupid, stupid, Not you stupid. two again. Stolen Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Cornell will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace.
Tails. Heads. You lose. <sighs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. <laughs> but if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. Cheating. And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. We can arrange for some help. I think this is where they said the new guy's safe. You don't have to kill the pain and get that out. I feel Shit. rejuvenated and alive. It's like I've got a brand new body. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don for the love of Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well? <sighs> hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> oh. The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <sighs> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Hey, you don't have enough for that. Why don't you choose a course you can actually afford? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick, and to the point. Uh, uh, little rough. Hmm? I can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. <laughs> Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Mm -hmm. Loose and limber. Am I right? Actually, yeah. 
Hmm. How was it? It's all right, I guess. What are you doing? Flexing. Flexing. Uh, never mind. Hmm? Think you'll make a habit of it? <sighs> All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. It matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. My sweet, I wouldn't sweet expect a fair Madame fight M. in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? They're ripping off you. If I can't get that money by me, relax, man. The doors are now open for tonight's Corneo Cup. Please form a line in an orderly fashion. 
Spectators, please enter from the right and contenders from the left. Do come again. Huh. That old dude in the vacant lot next to the inn? That's the owner's brother? Yeah. I'd kill to get my bad hands blood between Shiro. us, Romnikov. Or they had a falling out <laughs> of that Me? I'm betting on you. You think we'll see any soldiers tonight? Those Shinro lap dogs? No way they'd show up. I guess. Just imagine if they did. It'd be awful. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? A team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. <sighs> All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our 
next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple, no less. Talk about a bad day. And this is their first tournament, a bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Ooh, get lost! Go home, you suck! <laughs> with that lovey-dovey bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? <laughs> okay, now I'm mad. Zero Pound, one of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell, the sanguine stalkers! No blade feast! You brought animals? Oh? First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Well, that's one win down. Go team! Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Aerith. You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! They're opponents, reavers of the scrapyard, thieves and killers through and through! Too criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches this side of Wall Market, Bex Benefit! Cause we're gonna serve up a heap of yeah. healthy. <laughs> hey, what do just desserts taste like? Huh? Like frosties! Oh, it's only like us. Like baby! Uh, huh? More of them? <laughs> <laughs> 
And who are these unscrupulous looking gentlemen? It would seem that there are actually eight members of Beck's badasses. Hey, that's cheating. The only rule here is that there are no rules. Yeah! If Corneo says it's okay, then you gotta suck yeah. it up. Yeah. Did not hit Brandon his approval! This is ridiculous. The odds are overwhelmingly stacked against them. this. This could be a real bloodbath. So I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins oh. now! Careful. Enough. 
Kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! Hmm. <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! better than that. And now, five-time winners of the Corneo Cup. Murder machines with countless kills to their name. Along with a handful of maimings. The deadly duo that takes out the trash with a vengeance. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, Cuddy and Sleepy. Come on out. More like Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million guild prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. <laughs> the final match of the Corneo Cup begins now. Go on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
You're welcome. My turn? Let the wind caress you. It's your turn. Let's do this. This has never... I can't believe it! And the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Cologne and Aaron! My condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now? I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, 
and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> you greedy bastard, scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so.